All right, I'm gonna do a little short video that may help you out. It may help me out so I can go watch it again. We all have putting ruts, deep putting ruts, some of them where you just, you're in the hole and you can't climb out of it. So these may be some things that can help you really get back at it. Putting's physical, but 90% of it is mental. It's just like, it stays in your head. I'm not gonna make this. The dish knows it, the basket knows it. And once you get out of it, you have that confidence. The disc knows it can go in, the basket knows it can go in. So that's what we're trying to fix, get back to that confident putting. So, here we go. Tip number one, we've all been here. This right here, this section, is the most dangerous place on the putting green. You can work so hard to get here, battle the greatest shot of your life. You land here, a lot of people come up. You're so excited about that shot, step up and paint out. And that will ruin your round. So, it's like an easy way to fix this. Slow it down, some sort of routine. Get yourself a mini, it may piss off your card mates. It probably shouldn't. It, I, nobody ever gets mad. <laughs> but, put a mini down, do some sort of routine to just slow yourself down, get back focused, and just work on what you know you can do. So, that's tip number one. Do not rush an easy putt. We all are guilty of it. I'll still do it after this video, but that's kind of why I'm making the video, so I can go and watch it and remind myself there is no safe putt. This is safe probably right here. That, that area right there, really dangerous. So take your time, slow it down, get it in your mind that you can make this, but just don't rush it. All right, so tip number two, building up the good repetition of a quality release out of your hand every time. Everybody puts like this. Sometimes it's overdone. That's what we're gonna talk about in tip number three. But what I like to think about is a basketball player on a basketball team and they flat out suck at the foul line. They used to be good, but they cannot figure out why do I suck? What's the coach gonna tell them? They're gonna tell them to go to the foul line and shoot 50 of them. So I think in disc golf, that's a good comparison. If you're missing right, left, low, high, whatever. Think of a foul line. You don't need to be deep yet. You just need good repetition where you see the disc going in the basket. You can see how the disc is coming out of your hand. You'll have enough time to see if it's hidden high, low, anywhere. So take a mini, think of the foul line. It may seem really short. I think it's about foul line in this range. And start working out some kind of routine. It could be the hand up. It could be putting your mini down some sort of thing. I like to look at the ground and not stare at the basket and then look up at it. But it's really just building repetition, getting a clean release every time. I always tell myself, handshake with the pole, reach your hand out. You want to be in line with it. If you're missing right, you're probably, your follow through hand is going right with it. So this is a good way to practice it. Take your time, right on the pole. Take your time, on the pole. Take your time. Hold. A little off. So I could tell that my hand swayed a little right. On the pull. So that may seem just like useless, but the more you see it go in the basket, the cleaner your release is every time. No matter how short it is, it's going to help you, no matter what. But it's going to talk about tip number three, how you can almost overdo this and get too comfortable with one spot. reason I did that, I think this is the best way to simulate realistic putting. Rapid fire putting, like I said earlier, very helpful, very good for fixing your release, your spin, your timing, everything. But to me, to really build that mental routine of approaching a disc on a course during a round, you can't beat just putting them at different spots. Obviously, we're in a really easy field with a basket. Disc golf courses are a lot different. You're on a hill, you're on a rock, you're in behind a tree, anything you're putting over a creek, anything can happen. So this is really to simulate that same routine, put your mini down, whatever your routine may be, try to develop one, treat it like a real, a real putt that is to win a playoff, you know? So really take your time, develop the routine. 
really, your pappy, you're proud. Moving on. Get your mini, you can't get your mini. Same thing, we're a little closer. Don't get too confident. Mini down, same routine. Every putt's important. Catch. We're happy. Mini down, take your time. Here we are on the home stretch. Many down, no matter what, you think you got this all day. All of those, those were harder. This is the one you will miss. Many down. Take your time. Approach. And you are the winner. So I think something like that, I'm sorry that took so long, but that's a good example of implementing a realistic putting situation in your mind. Because like I said, mental. The more you see it go in confidently, you have that in your mind, it's just gonna feel comfortable. It's gonna feel like you can't miss. To me, that is the best tip of all. Just do that more and more. You may look stupid doing it, but who cares? It's about you building your score, getting better. Practice, practice, practice. Hope some of those helped you. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Work on your putt. Putt for dough. No, yes. <laughs> Drive for show, putt for dough or miss.